We hope you are doing well. The stay-at-home order in Illinois has been extended through May, with modifications beginning May 1st. We won't be able to physically gather together for worship, but we can worship in spirit and in truth wherever we are. Now, churches aren't the only organizations that are unable to hold in-person gatherings. Schools are in the same boat. This makes it especially difficult for graduating seniors who will miss memorable moments, like their final prom and graduation. By the way, at First Congregational Church, we have five uh, high school seniors. They will be graduating uh, from high school and uh, another one who is graduating from college. For privacy's sake, we won't say their names in this visit video. Now, those of you who belong to other communities of faith probably have a number of graduates in your church. At Poplar Springs High School in Graceville, Florida, the principal has come up with a creative way of honoring their 30 graduating seniors. She asked the yearbook photographer to enlarge the uh, portraits of each senior. The pictures have been attached to a stand, and the pictures line the road leading to the school. They can be seen by everyone who drives past. It's a great way to honor the seniors and keep people connected. Now that story gave me an idea how, about how we can honor and stay connected with each other. So I invite you to visualize and offer a short prayer for the people in our church directory or the directory of the church to which you belong. Now starting at the beginning of the directory, look at a couple or few names each day and then visualize the person and say a prayer for that person. And when you visualize them, just visualize them being lifted up into the presence of God and God's light. Now, the prayer can be as short and simple as something like, God, please be with so-and-so. Again, this can be a way to help us stay connected with God and each other. So let us begin. Praise God with shouts of joy, all people. Sing to the glory of God's name. Offer God glorious praise. Now, have you ever struggled with a lost opportunity, maybe a loss of purpose, the loss of a friend, uh, the loss of a family member, or perhaps a loss of hope? If you are or have ever lost something dear or precious, if you've gone through a storm, figuratively speaking, then this passage from Isaiah is for you. If you are anxious, uncertain, or uneasy in today's situation, this passage is for you. And it's for you because if you've gone through any of those experiences, you know what it's like to pass through the waters, the rivers, even through fire. You have a taste of what the Israelites experienced during the exile when so much had been lost. So listen for the incredible and comforting word from Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 through 7. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Now, no matter what you are experiencing or might go through in the future, may this word from Isaiah reassure you and bring you comfort and peace. And I invite you to... Uh, think of any particular needs, joys, or concerns you might have. And as you do so, we will observe a moment of silent meditation and reflection. Oh God, we thank you for your infinite love for us. We are grateful for all that you do for us. 
Your spirit is with us every second of every day. So help us to recognize, be aware of, and appreciate your loving and comforting presence. Today we pray for our dear friends who are lonely, anxious, or suffer from illness and loss. Oh God, help us to be a source of comfort for them. We ask you to protect all essential workers and give them strength. We thank you for their service. Help us find ways to support and appreciate all that they do. And we pray for people who face difficulties of any kind. May they feel your gracious presence in their lives. And for ourselves, we ask you to increase our faith in you. Help us experience the joy of knowing, worshiping, and serving you. And may you grant us your peace. We pray this, O God, in the one who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may God bless you and keep you. May God protect you from all danger and keep you safe. May God keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Until we meet again.